What's up guys, David Land here. Welcome to MoSport, Canadian Tire Motorsports Park for my first official race on NASCAR Heat 2. I am so excited for this. We are doing a three-stage race here, a 17% or 13% race here at MoSport, aka Canadian Tire Motorsports Park, like I said earlier. Uh, it's kind of a tomato-tomato pronunciation on whether or not you want to use the original name of the track or the current sponsored name of the track. But as you can see, we're running the Camping World Trucks because that's the only series currently you can run at MoSport. And I also have a custom Smithfield purple car because of course I do. Uh, this is a race-only race. So we aren't doing any qualifying. I did a qualifying session and then I qualified last, so I figured why not qualify last anyway and just start from the back and see how far we can move up the field. The AI are 105%, no assists, uh, and uh, I'm running on a controller. So let's get to it, racing at Sport. Okay, so it is going to be interesting to see how the stages affect the racing. In my first impression stream last night, I didn't do any stage racing. So we're going to have to see how this goes. Uh, Spencer Boyd, I think that's his name, slowed me down quite a bit there into turn number one. And now Ross Chastain going very slow. So a lot of guys kind of going slow here. Ooh. And that will be my, uh, that's one of my big complaints with the, oh, as we spin out Ross Chastain, just completely spin him out. Um, that's one of my big complaints is 105% AI difficulty seems to only apply to qualifying. And when you get into the race, they kind of fall down a little bit. They're not quite as challenging as they are in qualifying. Here we go, yeah, down into Moss Corner, named for the designer of it, or partial designer of it, Sterling Moss, Sir Sterling Moss. There's a lot of racing history at this track. I believe it did host the Canadian Grand Prix in F1. Of course, more recently you had like the American Le Mans series that ran here. Uh, Tudor United Sports Car runs here currently. Uh, Trans Am. I think IndyCar did a race here in the 70s. Maybe I'm thinking of that wrong. Uh, but certainly a lot of Can-Am, the Can-Am series. So a lot of racing history here, and obviously the truck series has been going here since I think about 2013. So it's pretty cool. It's cool to have this track in the game. One of uh, several new road courses added. So let's see if we can get an update. Okay, so only a two lap stage to start out the race. Um, I'm also doing four times, I think I'm on uh, uh, fully accelerated fuel and tire wears. We just completely wrecked the 42 truck. Somehow he managed to save it. So clearly a little bit more of that NASCAR heat evolution thing where the AI are able to make absolutely unbelievable stage uh, saves. I almost said stage because I was looking at the stage uh, laps to go. I definitely like that they added the first name to the drivers. I don't think that it was that way in NASCAR Heat Evolution, and I should have been in second gear. Why was I not in second gear there? Now we've got to keep Matt Snyder behind me here. We'll get down the back straightaway here. The Andretti Straight, by the way, that's what they named this. So it, it goes from Moss Corner, named for Sir Sterling Moss, and then the Andretti Straight, named for uh, Mario Andretti. Pretty cool. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, there was a car spun out. I don't know who that was, but there was a, and there's the finish of the stage. So somebody clearly got dumped right before the end of the stage. Uh, let's see if we can see who that was. Oh, I guess we won't be able to see who that was. Maybe at the bottom. Uh, ben Rhodes was the guy who got spun. Uh, so let's pit now. Let's pit at the first stage, and then we won't have to pit again. Okay, so pretty much everybody else pitted, so we're right back to 20th. I did repair the damage, but interestingly enough, when you repair damage in this game, it doesn't actually repair the visual damage, which is a good feature, because it was kind of silly how you could just absolutely destroy your car and then uh, go right back to uh, racing hard or uh, with, a, with a 
you know, fresh looking car every single time. Kind of reminiscent of the five minute clock. As we get underneath uh, Austin Wayne's self, bounce off the inside wall there, so that was pretty bad. But I will say, another thing about the physics, you can actually run curbs, as you can see. You can brake without having the car spin out. So all that is pretty good. And then we've got the, the, the two drivers with all of the names up here. Tommy Joe Martins and Austin Wayne Self. Because, you know, who needs two names when you can have three, right? Let's see if we can dive down here into the uh, second apex of Moss Corner. No, we can't because we got we got rammed into by Joe Need Me Check. And now we're going three wide with Cody Coughlin. Well, that's appropriate as we're having a drag race with a Coughlin down a straightaway. Uh, but uh, he's able to get that uh, move done as we head underneath the Canadian Tire Bridge. And shift down into third gear here. Easy, easy, by the way, is the new uh, still there. The spotter says that all the time. But maybe it's just because I'm not driving very easily. As it looks like the 18 truck and uh, Tommy Joe Martins just got into it. Or excuse me, that was Austin Wayne Self. And they ran into each other big time. As we have Need Machek go back to the inside. He's going to try to get there. Couldn't quite finish off the job. And right out next to the curbing there on the brakes. Get her woed down and get underneath Tommy Joe Martin. So moving up another position all the way up into the 14th spot. Now under the second bridge. And can we dive bomb Austin Wayne self? That was definitely an Austin centric move there, but we pulled it off. Interesting to see that Noah Gragson is uh, sponsored by Mobile Strike, which is another video game. Now, obviously, they can't have Time and Jet Ski's uh, iRacing car because that's a direct competitor, as silly as that sounds to say, uh, to this uh, NASCAR Heat 2. So they can't put that in the game. But Mobile Strike, sure, why not? As we get third gear down through this nice sweeping corner. It's interesting that the long straightaway here at Mosport doesn't lead into a hairpin, kind of like the modern road courses do. It's all a lot of fast corners. And I think this may be the end of the stage, and indeed it is, so we put the car 13th at the end of the stage. Uh, let's see, can we see the victor of the stage? Uh, Regan Smith won. Uh, so we got four laps of fuel, four laps to go, so we will not need to pit, and it doesn't look like anybody else is going to go for the fresh tires. So uh, there you go, but Ben Rhodes... Five laps down, not a good start uh, to the NASCAR heat season for him. And it looks like uh, I'm not even going to get the choice to uh, advance the game myself. So Noah Gregson, Travis Quaffle, Todd Gilliland, Grant Infinger. The car is immediately ahead of us. Let's see what we can do here as we get back to the racing. And we got to try to uh, battle with Austin Wayne's self there. What's cool is when you come back to the restart, you hear the crowd cheer a little bit. I'm pretty sure I'm not making that up. I'm pretty sure I'm hearing that. And now to the outside of Grand Infigure, three wide with Travis Quaffle. And now behind JJ Yealy. And I think that's Cindric. Yeah, it is Cindric, so we got to be careful here. <laughs> we know what happens when you're around uh, Austin Cindric near the end of a race here. But we gave him a little bit of a love tap there. Oh, no, don't spin me out, please. Oh, God, we're three wide. I should have shifted down Quaffle, Cindric all around me. Grand Infigure to the outside. Is he going to be able to pull that off? No. We're going to dive to the inside of Moss Corner. Oh, that was a that was a huge dive. Oh, we're going to go three wide. Travis Quaffle, Austin Sindrick. Sindrick trying to wreck me, but it's not going to happen. So Yaley and Quaffle just ahead. I feel like I'm in 2003 uh, because of those names being in a NASCAR game for sure. Can we get to the outside of Travis Quaffle? Uh, it's going to be tough. I was definitely the last of the late breakers there, but we picked up the throttle nicely. Maybe we can slice to the inside of Yaley here. Not quite, not quite. The final corner, very difficult here. It's actually deceptively faster than you think it is. 
Uh, when I first started running laps of this track, I thought it was second gear, a second gear corner, but as it turns out, it's a third gear corner. You, in fact, never really shift up into fourth until you get all the way up here, just under the bridge, and uh, I was going so slow after, after turn one that I didn't need to. As I slam into the inside wall, damage the car just a little bit, you can see the thing is bowed out quite a bit on the side of the truck. I think I said car. I, think I triggered somebody probably saying that. So we've got seven places to go. And how many laps to go? There's so much more you have to pay attention to with these stages. So three laps to go, I believe. Two laps to go, excuse me. Two laps to go. So we dive, catch that curb on the exit of Moss. And there's a yellow. Whoa, okay, this is going to really spice things up. We're going to have three laps to go, three laps of fuel remaining. Uh, and it doesn't look like any of the leaders are pitting, so I'm not going to pit either. Okay, so eighth place, we get another shot at it. That was not a stage, that was a yellow, so somebody uh, got into some problems. Here we go, back to the green. And Crafton did not get a good start that time. He's gonna fall back. And he actually screwed Yaley there. So TJ Bell just ahead. Two laps remaining in the race. Can we get to the inside of TJ Bell? Yes, we can. Or Christopher Bell. Why did I say TJ Bell? That's a different driver. Oh dear. I've screwed everything up. I should have remembered that because Christopher Bell's a guy who just absolutely went nuts that one year at Daytona and flipped over several times. So John Hunter Nemechek, another guy, or Nemechek, is, uh, who is that, Eli Gold, I <laughs> always say. John Hunter Nem Nemechek, oh god, oh no, oh! Oh no, what happened there? Oh my god, well, well, we gotta pit, because that is way too much damage to not pit. Well, we've discovered a place you cannot go on this track. It looks like Matt Crafton is all the way at the back now. What is going on with that? I appreciate the spotter said tighten your belts. Implying that was going to happen, I just Cindric him. <laughs> or no, that's not a Cindric. That's a uh, that's a Chase Elliott move right there. <laughs> Cindric's in Moss Corner. So when you crash somebody in, in Moss Corner, it's it's a Cindric. If you crash somebody in uh, the final corner, it's a uh, it's a chase. And if you crash somebody coming to the line, it's a John Hunter Nemechek. So as long as we've just got that all out of the way. I think there was one clean race here at Most Sport uh, for the trucks so far, which is kind of unfortunate. Okay, so we're getting up behind Kamikaze Games' favorite, uh, Corbin Forrester. I don't know why he likes Corbin Forrester. I think he did a video on that. I need to rewatch that video as to why he likes Corbin Forrester. We're going to dive up the inside here split the difference between a couple trucks and we're definitely way way faster than these guys at the back or guys and gals sorry Jennifer Joe I misgendered you uh, let's see if we can get behind Clay Greenfield here we're gonna run in the draft here to the inside and I love the fact that there's unsponsored cars and trucks in this game I absolutely adore that and Matty Snyder to the outside we go we get around the outside of him. Yes, we can. Can we get to... Well, we got... Oh, we wrecked... Oh, no, Jennifer Joe. And everybody's coming in the pits. Oh, they all screwed up. Oh, they've made a horrible mistake because we're on a green-wide checker. None of them pitted. Is somebody going to win this race in the pits? Am I going to win this race? We've got one lap to go. There are four cars out in front. Actually, two cars. Regan Smith and Chase Briscoe. But neither of those guys pitted. Are they going to run out of fuel? Am I going to win this race on the absolute most BS thing I've ever seen? But no, it looks like Todd Peck is going to be here. He's going to try to challenge for third place. Well, we might get a podium for sure, but we got to hang on to it right now. And I'm not paying any attention because I'm looking at the leaderboard, trying to figure out if Regan Smith and Chase Briscoe are going to come into the pits. This is a crazy race. And there they were going up the Andretti Strait, so clearly they're still under power. At least right now, as we get on the apron, you can see the damage to the truck. I wish I could turn the camera around, but that is still something they have not fixed in NASCAR heat 
uh, two from NASCAR Heat Evolution. You can't look at uh, the front of your car while you're driving forwards. But it looks like maybe Regan Smith is going to win this race. I just don't know yet. Chase Briscoe as well just behind him if uh, anything were to happen to Smith. As we downshift into third, we're definitely pulling very far away from Austin Hill and Todd Peck. Well, I think maybe it's possible that Regan Smith won this race while coming into the pits, but it doesn't matter. We're going to take third, a very unlikely third, but third nonetheless here at Mosport in our first stage race. Wow. And look at the front of that truck, man. That is that is a beat and banged up truck. That is for sure. So we took third in the race. John Hunter Nemechek set the fastest lap of the race at a 1.23. Regan Smith, who is still looking a bit uh, bit peaked, uh, and I guess we we have the same face as uh, as Regan Smith as we says we finished 12th. That doesn't make any sense. We finished third. Uh, okay. Uh, are we going to actually be able to take a look at the results? I guess not. That's weird. Well, okay. That was uh, NASCAR uh, Heat 2 at Mosport. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed taking a look at the stage racing. I hope I provided a good uh, kind of baseline for you know what the stage racing is like in NASCAR Heat Evolution. Check back later today. I'm going to be doing another video, hopefully a couple other videos, maybe even a stream, but certainly the next video is going to be Xfinity at Iowa. So be sure to be here for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been David Land on YouTube, and we'll see you at Iowa.